So we were down to about 13 players going into the tournament. We said, <clears throat> I imagine the odds makers said they won't last long. But we just, we just, everything went right for us. Everything worked for us. And that was the year in the two games, we scored 23 goals, which, which it's, it's got to be a record. I don't think, I don't think anyone's ever touched that. And in one period, we scored 10 goals, and I don't think anyone has touched that. I'm Model Yellick, and I was with Colorado College for three years, and from 48, 49, and 50. And we were a very fortunate team to be in the playoff all three years. And fortunately, we took it in 1950. And what we did in scoring will never be touched. I think everybody had a feeling that it was, uh, it was our game, our game to lose. And uh, we went out there, everybody went out with the idea that, uh, that we were a better hockey team, which we were. And we proved it. That was the line of Brent, uh, Omar Brandt and Ron Hartwell. And that, I think, was Tony Frasca's line. And uh, they were, I had them all in class at one time or another. Uh, they, we would kid, they were, they were good students. They were, many of the hockey players was that were students as good as they wanted to be. In terms of skill at the sport, the hockey player that I would pick as the best hockey player of all time is Ronnie Hartwell. And the reason is it seemed to me that he had a sense of being where he was and where other people on the ice that was more acute than any other hockey player. And we, we had some, we, as I said, we had some excellent players who now were, now were Southwoods. You couldn't find anybody than t better than Tony Frasca. He was a magician with that hockey stick. Anybody could score goals who played with Tony. He'd set you up. Mm -hmm. He'd bring everybody over to his place, slip you the puck, you had an open net practically. And Ronnie Hartwell was like a bullet. Ronnie could score. I, I, I think Ronnie still may have the record of most goals scored, but the comparisons I don't think are too equitable because we played much fewer games than what the young men are playing today. We turned everything possible in a game of hockey. We didn't make 10, we made 13. 23 goals were scored on this playoff. And to this day, it has never been touched. 